Alrighty here. Editing B, just for a second here, popping in. You're about to watch this video, but I, sitting here now, just filmed the thing. And um, I'm gonna let you know right now, as what are the kids calling it these days? A trigger warning, um, that I have gone back and forth on, should I post this video at all? If I do, should I have just posted it on the Perk Squad only so that it's not available to the public and it's only available to members so that it's, you know, a little bit more private? Um, I've, I've wrestled with a lot of these thoughts. Uh, and so if you're seeing it like this, then that must mean it's up on the main channel. And if so, I just want you to know, I need you to prepare yourself that it is long, it is heavy, it is deep, and it is difficult to talk about these things. We're talking about somebody who is no longer living and there's an ongoing kind of case or investigation or whatever into the circumstances around that. That is very sensitive. Um, and so if you feel like emotionally you can't hang please take care of yourself step away don't do this right now okay um and if you feel like us and the channel taking a look into something like this is not okay and doesn't feel good to you then please feel free to excuse yourself and you know not look at this so i'm just putting that out there that I want people to make choices based on what they feel like they can and will do for themselves and that you're making this decision knowingly um, and I tried my best to be as clear as I could be and be as respectful as I could be and keep myself as composed as I could be despite the fact that this was very hard and very heavy and literally my ears are on fire as of trying to channel for for this video um and so this is a tough one we looked into a lot of information got a lot of insights Please watch all of the disclaimers at the beginning of the video. Every last one is very important. Um, so, anywho, going to jump into it now. Thanks for hearing this. Just needed to put it out there because it's important. It's important. This is serious. Got to say it. All right. Here you go. Hey y'all, how you perking? I hope you perking good. So, highly, highly requested video today. Um, we're going to talk about a very sensitive subject here. Um, so, there's going to be plenty of disclaimers and, and things around um, because we're going to be taking a look today at the situation that has gone on um, with the Boeing whistleblower. Um, his name uh, is John Barnett um, and his recent passing and the circumstances around that. So it was highly requested. I do videos here off of request. So I am going to take a look at it, um, see what kinds of, you know, explanations or answers that we might be able to get. But I have a list here of all these little disclaimers that I really do want to put out there. And I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to jump straight into the disclaimers. And it's very important that I say these things. So please hang with me on this. Um, so first and foremost, this video is not meant to be disrespect towards him or his family and loved ones in no way, shape or form is doing this video meant to be disrespectful to him or family or loved ones. Just really need to get that out there. Um, 
also, I would hope it would go without saying, um, but this video is not intended to um, hinder any ongoing investigation. So, you know, please don't take everything from this video as gospel and try to, you know, put things out there in a way that can clog up the natural processes that happen in investigations. Um, I don't think anybody would do that, but I just want to put it out there that I do not in any want any way shape or form want this to be a hindrance um, to any ongoing investigation usually if I do true crime type videos um, I usually put quite a bit of distance between the time things happen and the time I do a video because I don't want to hinder anything um, but with the volume of requests I decided okay I'll jump on this as long as I can put my disclaimers out there um, so in keeping with what I just said too about not taking this as gospel, this needs to be taken as commentary, not as fact. Okay, because y'all see whenever I pull up cards and things, how I have over here where it says all alleged, just my interpretation. Yeah, we need to take that very seriously that this is all alleged, just my interpretation. This video, the entire video is to be taken as commentary, not as anything that is proven to be fact. Um, so, got to put all of those things out there because rarely ever do I do a true crime related video so close to something happening. Um, I usually give some distance and space because I want to respect the investigation and I want to respect the the victims and families and people involved and so I'm just trying to let people know where I'm coming from here as I'm doing this um it's just like I said lots of requests and the fact that this happened as a result of Boeing um in Charleston South Carolina and as y'all know where do you think I, where do you think I am? I've said it a lot of times here. I'm sitting in South Carolina. I was born and raised in South Carolina. I've lived here almost my entire life. Only moved away for like three years. Um, at one point in my life, I've been in South Carolina. This is my home state. Obviously, I've been to Charleston many, many times. Boeing is a big deal in our state. Um, and there's an extra sting that happens when you feel like something hits close to home so that's another reason why I kind of wanted to touch on this um so anywho thank you for bearing with me through the disclaimers I know it's annoying to not just jump straight into videos um but it was important and um, out of respect I felt I needed to get all that out first so before people run off worried about how we're gonna get information today I am a licensed mental health clinician and a spiritual intuitive and we do take a look at the tea with the tarot I've got a good track record on this channel for people who are worried about that or put off by that so have an open mind you know see where things go and develop your opinions accordingly then so i'm gonna move this microphone this microphone this microphone right here right here right here my little penelope gonna move her over so i can move over and get shuffled up here my little sheep are also helping me out here today um gonna get shuffled up for us as usual when i do this i ask for whatever information we are allowed to know so that means if there's something that for whatever reason we're not allowed to know, whether it's because it's too sensitive, it's too private, um, it's too disrespectful, or it's too dangerous, you know, whatever the reason is, if we're not meant to know it, it's not going to come through here. So anything that does come through here, I'm going to say it out loud because it means we're allowed to have that information. We're permitted to have that information some kind of a way. So if there's something here, even if it's hard for me to say, I'm going to make myself say it 
because that's kind of my policy on here. If I don't, I don't try to squeeze anything I'm not allowed to get out of the cards. But if I see something, I say something. And so that's what we're going to do here today. So trying to do this again with all respect intact, um, all good intentions here. Um, let's see what, if anything, are we allowed to know, permitted to know about this, you know, circumstance revolving around the Boeing whistleblower uh you see this card flipped already um John Barnett so I'm going to go ahead and put that down because it flew out of there real fast didn't even have a a chance to to keep drawing and I also apologize if you're hearing all these like weird noises in the background like at certain parts it's not happening right now but like hearing people sawing and stuff I've been trying to film this video for days now um, and haven't been able to because someone I guess a neighbor's like sawing off stuff and it's just a lot of loud noises out there but at the time of filming this it is Wednesday March 20th um, so that's when I'm finally filming this. Don't know when I'll get it up on YouTube though. So from what we're looking at here in terms of what we're allowed to know to just start out and then I can ask some specific questions possibly as well, but just starting out here on what we're allowed to know. Um, the first thing that I'm seeing here, I'm seeing nine of pentacles upright, three of pentacles in reverse, and a high priestess card in reverse. And so this is an interesting kind of first row, first lineup here because this is talking about a lot of money involved, a lot of people involved in a reverse position, as in people not living on the bright side of their coin every every coin has two sides the positive side and the not so positive side and so for this to come up in the reverse you got the picture coming up in the not so positive side for a handful of people here and the high priestess card is like really being stuck here between the dark and the light really being stuck here between truth and lies dark and light trying to get something out and here i am wearing like dark and light the white and black right here on my shirt and I didn't even mean to do that for this so literally this is just what I wore today <laughs> um so wow um so there's some kind of you know theme here going on with that and that kind of makes sense given the circumstances as we're moving down here to this bottom row ten of pentacles upright empress card in reverse ace of cups upright this is showing kind of an interesting play here between the between strengths and weaknesses i guess i'll say it um because upright here for our ten of pentacles this is kind of showing that there is a a tangible strength to what was going on in this situation as it related um to john barnett and so that's a good sign here that you know he had a lot of physical evidence a lot of physical strengths that were he was going to bring to the table that i think is something that is kind of already out there in the open discourse however we have these two things here um these can be uh, a little bit more on the challenging side because a reversed empress card means i'm not being able to plant these seeds and get them to grow like this isn't fertile soil i'm not being able to really get any farther with this like i'm trying to do something and but it's like planting dead seeds or planting you know good seeds in dead soil that will never be able to produce life and with this ace of cups here this is like yeah i'm hopeful but i'm also really emotional um i mean you can see the water overflowing a lot of times that can suggest things like tears and and um sweat and like all of that kind of like emotional strife and angst and so it does feel like even if he had some strengths to his case or you know strengths to what he was pushing forward that we also see the fact that this was wearing him down um i guess emotionally mentally psychologically wearing him down in some kind of a way and the empress card in reverse kind of showing this was 
never going to be, you know, viable seeds planted, that there was, you know, going to be an issue in planting these and seeing them to a full harvest, that there was always going to be an issue with that. Um, so that part is what makes me a little bit nervous here as we move forward, because of course the circumstances are that he was found, his body was found, meaning that he was no longer alive, and the, the way in which his um, body was found was it looked like he had unalived himself. Other people feel like, even if that's what the preliminary evidence points to, they feel like they don't believe that, that that doesn't seem right. Um, and I have not myself dived into, you know, a plethora of videos and things like that. Y'all know on here I like to, to read fairly cold, so... And I think we're, we're all kind of looking at this cold, because I, as, to my knowledge, at the time of filming, there's probably not even a lot out there yet. Um, so that card here of like, there was never going to be a way to plant seeds in a way that it would come to fruition is a little nerve wracking. So I want to get some more insights on that type of thing, where they're going with that, whatever we're allowed to know with where they're going with that, any particular details about where what we're allowed to know with where they're going with that. So, okay. Whew. All right. Okay. Here's one of those times that, that I said, like, you know, I say what I see. Um, So, for the people in the comments that are like, you're holding back, I'm not holding back. I'm trying to figure out how to word things that's YouTube safe, because YouTube is not a safe platform for things like this. And again, this is all alleged, just my interpretation. Everything here is commentary, not to be t taken as proven fact or anything along those lines. But this is a card that's it's like a messenger card. Page of Wands is like a messenger card. So here's a messenger. On either side of the messenger, you have one, this is the giving up card, right next to the strength card upright. So this is a card about actively wrangling something, being strong, and I'm going to wrangle it. This is a card about giving up. So literally, there is a messenger here talking about giving up or going farther. Then we down here have a decision that's already made. Here's a good guy trying to bring something and then we get a moon card in reverse. <sighs> Depths, dark, hiding, things like that. So <sighs> what I'm what it looks like here is that he was presented with a messenger that was giving him a literal choice about giving this up or continuing to stand in your strength and fight. And a decision was made to continue in the upright position and be a harbinger for good, for bringing things in. And we end up with a moon card in reverse. We end up with a purging. That's literally some the word that I've used to describe this card in the past for all of you who have been on here and have heard that before. Um, it's a dark card card it's a dark energy the moon is about the night time um so the vibes that this is giving i'm gonna put my black salt in my hand you know for protection because this feels uncomfortable i almost feel like i need to cry or like i want to cry or need to cry <sighs> but i don't want to Damn, I don't know if I've ever cried at a reading before. <laughs> Sorry. 
Um, this kind of reads like, um, like the, the vibes here are very much, you know, how there were those stories way back in, way back in the day, as if it's like, you know, eons and eons ago. But for those of us who are kind of, you know, millennials here, you know, you grew up with the, the stories about Columbine and stuff like that. And how, you know, the people that were going around doing the school pew 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 thing kind of were like hey you've got a choice do you believe in god or or not and the people were like yeah i do boom they you know they so they got killed or whatever that 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 was like the thing that went around that was what people had you know written about um that that's how you know some of the people were selected to uh be unalived is asking them about something you know that was very strongly in their value set they stuck with their values with their story with with what it was and they paid the ultimate price because of that and this the vibes that this is that this is giving is that that same type of scenario is what i'm seeing here where it seems like there was a messenger of sorts who would have presented himself, herself, itself, their self, whatever. The messenger of sorts would have presented itself to John Barnett and would have been asking, are you letting this go or are you going to keep this going? And asking in a way where John would have known what either answer would have meant and made a choice accordingly. I don't know if I'm going to put this up, honestly. I don't know if I'm going to put this video up. I don't know if maybe I should put this video on the Perk Squad instead because it's you know more more private or i don't know this seems very who this is why i don't do things this way <laughs> ah, this is a tough one but it seems it seems like that so um let's just let me Pull some more cards. See where we're going. Again, only what we're allowed to know. And kind of go from there. So, shuffle these. Alright, so in terms of what we are allowed to know to continue this dialogue, to continue this story, Spirit Guides... What we're allowed to know. Okay. Okay. So. It looks here. From what they're showing here. Again. That there would have been. A. And, and this I feel like we're talking about. You know that exact evening morning i don't know when this happened i don't know when the act of this happened to him um but this would have been at that time what they're showing here the um it looks like there would have been some initial confusion and then this and and again this is meant to not be disrespectful but this card comes up sometimes as my quote-unquote self-sabotage card. That could mean that it's that someone makes a decision that is self-defeating or could bring harm on themselves or could, you know, trip them up and, and, you know, get caught up in their own way or something like that. And so it's not at all 
to defame anyone's character or anything like that. It's to, to say that with some confusion, he could have, you know, made a decision that was in line with his values, but not necessarily in line with his survival. And then we have this inner tower moment here. Um, our tower moment internally is when the tower is falling on the inside where we're like, you know, this is what I think, this is what I feel, this is what I believe. And now here's a moment where everything is coming crumbling down and it's like, I mean, what happens when, when you're in a certain point? that you're literally going through a situation where everything you that you know and feel and think it's all like flashing before you and crumbling down i mean the tower falling card very much so is like here in the u.s 9 11 that moment where the towers are falling and people are literally you know the experience of the people in the tower as it's crumbling there's that experience going on internally here and then this is a, but I'm not switching up. I'm not shifting. I'm not going to partner with this. Okay. I'm choosing not to partner with this. I'm choosing my balance. This is what I feel balanced in doing. This is what, you know, my integrity is designed to do this is my stance and this is my balance this is what i'm what i'm doing um so it's a very you know resolute thing like as if he had at some point before considered what if there's some point in time where i am confronted by you know, an insider or by a hired hand or by just somebody associated with this. What if I am, you know, I encounter them and they give me an ultimatum. You let this go or X, Y, Z may happen to you kind of thing. It seems like he would have already thought like what if that happens what would I do in that circumstance it seems like this isn't something that he had never considered before that it looks like it would have crossed his mind at some point you know what would I do if I was confronted with a situation like that how would I handle that how would I respond you know what would I I say or do would I cling to my principles or would I be like you know what nothing's worth that I, I need to you know like what would you do kind of thing um and given given that knight of swords in reverse again could be a bit of slight confusion there's there's a chance that like in the moment things weren't completely clear all the time like you know how sometimes you can know what's going on but you don't know what's going on you know th that sometimes especially if it is a shocking thing Things don't always sink in completely, you know? Um, people need time to soak in to, to things that are big deals, um, to things that are, are a shock to the system. So, I uh, see a little bit of that going on as well. So, all of this seems to be leaning in a certain direction. But I'm going to ask the question, black and white, clear as day anyway, about whether or not, you know, what happened to him, was that something that he chose to do? Or was that something that a decision was made for him that it was not of his choosing to be unalived at that time? So I just ask, ask that. 
just put that out there in black and white okay okay Alrighty. So, from what we're looking at here, here he is coming up in an upright position. That's a strong position. And the Emperor card is a strong card. So, him coming up as a strong card, as the literal strongest masculine figure in the entire deck, coming up upright. That is not what you would expect to see for someone who chose to do this to themselves. So, again, our reading was trending in that direction anyway. But, just, this is, this is what we're seeing as, you know, our own little internal confirmation here. And again, when I say confirmation... This is all alleged, just my interpretation, and the confirmation is still considered commentary and not to be proven fact. Um, gotta keep saying that for the YouTubies. I know it's anno annoying, but just gotta do the thing. This is a, you know, it's it wasn't ended. If it was in the upright position, the world card, then it's like, yeah, we tied a bow around it. It's over. But this is a, it wasn't over. We didn't tie a bow around it. This is a, Hey, I'm still taking a leap. I'm taking a leap of faith. I'm still going out there. So this is, yeah, we, we're we in the upright position. We're not done. We're not tying a boat around it. We're, we're still taking a leap of faith. We're still trying to, to get this done. We're still pushing forward with things. We know that there's a mixed bad, a bag of good and bad, and we're doing it anyway. We're not completely sure how this will turn out, but we're doing it anyway. So yeah, this does not at all you know, just to confirm again what the reading had already been saying, look like he chose this. Um, so there we go there. We're going to dive into some more specific questions like this. I'm going to be cognizant of the time. Um, so I don't want this to be the longest video known to man. And it's too heavy for it to be a long video anyway um so i'm going to pull these cards up so we can reshuffle all this back into the deck and ask you know just a further few questions about this that again whatever we're permitted to know we're not trying to get information that we're not allowed to know you know light team spirit guides block us from anything we're not allowed to know whether it's because it's prying too much or that it's too dangerous or whatever and as i get shuffled up here um like i said this may end up on the perk squad and i don't know but if it is on the regular channel then we do have a perk squad where sometimes super sensitive videos could go over on the perk squad perk squad also has extended videos um and lots of other um perks and things over there if you're interested in that the blue join button below and the link in the description box can take you over there and one of the perk squad perks our video shout outs so shout out to you Roxanne and thank you for being a member of the perk squad we're really happy to have you here appreciate you and so thank you shout out to you Roxanne alrighty I think I got this all shuffled up here I'll do one more time for good measure all right so just in continuing here the conversation a little bit trying to think of how I could answer things that wouldn't automatically get a shut door here but if he did not choose to do this himself what about the actual act of this happening are we allowed to know we know he didn't choose it so what kind of details around that are we allowed to know and again giving you know full understanding for the things that we get cut off from because we're not allowed to know it whatever that I'm um, understanding I'm not gonna push anything you know so 
Mm. Okay, we'll take this. Huh. Okay. All right. So from what I'm seeing here, the first card here, it's interesting to see a chariot card in reverse because I am aware that he was found in his vehicle, truck, car, I'm not sure, you know, and the chariot card is, you know, the card about vehicles. It's coming up in the reverse position though, which I don't know if this means whatever happened, happened before being in the vehicle or if this means that there was not an original intention to be in the vehicle, but in some kind of a way, there's certain circumstances that look like I walked into the vehicle. I sat down in the vehicle. I did this to myself while in the vehicle. There's something about that th that that seems wrong here that that doesn't line up with this with this being in in the reverse position so it feels like either something happened outside of the vehicle before getting before being put in or getting in um there's or something like that there's there's something that it's like it's not exactly with the vehicle here um so i see that being off uh a three of cups three is a crowd um so it looks like we're talking about you know some at least one other person having some sort of involvement here possibly more than one other person having some involvement here because i don't know if three is a crowd means john barnett and two other people or you know what exactly that is alluding to but um getting getting the vibe here that there was you know a small group um here that there was one or more individuals um there were that were involved here with this judgment card in reverse um, so, plain and simple, something, um, was going on that by our standards, by the spirit guide standards would be considered poor judgment, bad judgment. Um, and once again, we've got our 10 of pentacles upright of that was talking about earlier about you know having good evidence being strong in principle and in integrity and things like that the star card talking about new beginnings things you know that are supposed to be starting off and starting new and the knight of wands card like yeah this is gonna you know we're gonna this was gonna be over what this was gonna be you know in a hurry and so there's there's something here that feels like we're talking about more one or more people that um were present that they were the ones that made this decision that this unaliving was going to happen and that something happened again it feels like before the the truck or vehicle or whatever like and, and again I don't know if this was the the ultimate act was completed before then or if there were things that were going on before then like you know hey you get in the truck do do this whatever there's something you know this there's something really weird about that card um that keeps coming up i'm gonna pull a couple more cards again just see what else about these circumstances on that night slash morning slash again i don't know what time it happened um that we're permitted to know here and again all alleged just my interpretation commentary not to be you know taken as proven fact no in no way is this intended to be you know harmful to an investigation 
or disrespectful to a person, their family, and their loved ones. I really cannot state that enough. That that for real is very important to me to say. I'm not just saying that because YouTube would want me to say that. I'm saying that because that's how I for real feel about these things. And y'all who've been with the channel long enough, I hope would know my sincerity in that. Um, so, what if anything else are we allowed to know about that? Okay. So, from what we're looking at here, this, hmm. This is a, like, walking away card, and so is this, but then this again is standing up, so the walking away cards here, if, if he stand, he's being like, no, I'm standing up firm in this, then Let's get some context on these about the, the kind of walking away element here. Yeah, again, about you may as well walk away because, as we've seen in this earlier, whatever you plant here, it's not going to be able to grow into full fruition like what you wanted to. It's time now. It's time to walk, talk, to walk away now like this is the time kind of thing. And so it does, again, feel kind of pushed, um, kind of forced. Um in terms of this row on the bottom not what we wanted you know was things were supposed to shift this is in reverse it this kind of feels like this kind of feels like i'm just gonna put it out there that like, I don't, I don't even know who all would have been aware of whatever was going on on this night. Because this feels, I don't want to use the word rogue, because it's not rogue, it's related to the, to the depositions and the Boeing stuff and all that, like it's related to that, but this feels rogue. I don't know if that feels like it's because, <sighs> like, the only the only way that I can make sense of that, and again, this is going to be, you know, up for interpretation, but the only way I can make sense for that is if it's giving off this rogue feeling, then either there would be people that are not literally in Boeing, but people outside of it that are like, if Boeing goes down and goes under, I will be screwed. And so I want to take matters into to my own hands some kind of way or I want to have control in this because I don't want to be screwed by Boeing going down like as if it's, you know, a whole nother party here that would be maybe fiscally devastated if, if something bad happened with Boeing. And so they, you know, had some kind of hat in the ring for this which could be rogue, as in Boeing would, would, would have had no idea um, that somebody else, a stakeholder, I guess, I don't know what you want to call them, um, had, had something done. Or it could be rogue because it's like, yeah, nobody at Boeing had something it done, but that doesn't mean there weren't, you know, there wasn't hired help or something. And you know, we want y'all to not know about it because that makes it easier to say, well, I didn't know anything and you're being honest that you didn't, you know, so there's, there's some kind of a going rogue here that feels like it's obviously related to the Boeing thing, but it doesn't feel like Boeing proper. It doesn't feel like Boeing proper. Um, 
because it feels like they wouldn't have wanted that to happen. So it's weird because everybody's being like, yeah, of course they would have wanted it to happen. If he was whistleblowing, they would have had everything to lose. So of course they want, would have wanted him gone. But here, that's not what I'm seeing. The, what I'm seeing is like, no, they wouldn't have wanted him gone. Like, I don't know. I mean, think about it. What are the optics now? For all of the people that maybe were not following this, and now they find out out they hear of this whistleblower who is now unalived and now suddenly they are following this and everybody's like ew ah uh, f boeing i hate them blah 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 that's really bad for boeing too that's a horrible like reputational hit to make it look like you 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 know offed someone so I don't think, you know, the optics of that are very good either. I don't think they would have wanted that for their, for their own, you know, reputation, much less maybe for, for his life. So it feels like it's not directly tied to them here. There's something that feels indirect, feels related, but not direct. Um, so it, it feels rogue. All right. Just one more little thing, one more little pull here, and then I know I'm just holding my little salt. I just, the black salt for protection. Um, but I'm going to just do one more draw here because it's, we're already getting up there like 45 minutes. I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to post this, to be honest. I don't know if I should, even if I'm allowed to. I have, I'm having some internal dilemmas on on this this is rough i feel like my ears are burning yeah they're pink straight up both of my ears are red mm-hmm not surprised by that okay not that there's a good time to say this at any point in this reading. I feel like any at any point in time that I would say this would be a shitty time in this reading. But just for the sake that I say this in literally all of my videos, in all my videos, I do let people know that if you would like a private reading, my website is beastalksandtarot.com. You can book a private reading if you would like. Um, and there's other things on there as well. I don't want to go into all of that because it feels... Weird to say that on this video, even if I literally say that in every single video that I do. Um, so I'm making mention of it, and then we're going to get back to this. Um, so, from what we're seeing here, again, salt in hand. Here we're getting emotionally like him coming up in a reverse position. So it does feel like emotionally things were going hard and yeah, rough people to be around, but still having a lot of insights, being like forced with giving up, but feeling like, no, I'm just going to kind of break those bonds and having to choose this path so they're kind of being cyclical here i'm asking for more information and see they're giving me the same type of information presented again in a different way we might be getting to that point where they're like hey we're hitting a wall now on what we're allowed to know i'm just going to recycle old, old information so let's see i'll pull three more cards and if we continue to recycle then it is what it is if i'm allowed to have anything else in this then you know please let us know now if we're allowed to have anything else in this okay so a permanent walking away which I mean what is unaliving if if not a permanent exit from a situation um, the wheel of fortune coming up in an upright position and the king of wands coming up in an upright position this is yeah this is a we are not meant to have any more information here because this is like hey listen this is a permanent walking away the wheel of fortune is upright because things will continue to turn you know um the that quote unquote fate will continue to play itself out um in a way that's that's positive here 
this is a, this story's not over. It will continue. It will go on. And the sword is right up here in the Sphinx's hand. And the sword is always about clarity, truth. That will continue. It will play itself out. It will continue with the path that it's on because of the groundwork here that is laid by our King of Wands upright, which is how they're wanting to present John Barnett. They're wanting to present him as a King of Wands. The King of Wands card is a fiery person, an ambitious person, intelligent person, um, someone who has values and they go after it, someone that is impressive, that they are in charge of everything they do. The little lizard uh, over here is like indicative of this, you know, intuition and intelligence and, and, you know, just abilities and all of that. It, this is just a very masterful card. And so I feel like this is of high respect and high regard that they're giving him this card here. Um, and in terms of the foundations that he's laid here. So whether or not his case ends up the way that we in a fairy tale world would want it to end up, whether or not that happens, he has done enough and his legacy has done enough for fate to continue to spin this wheel in the direction where eventually things will be where they need to be. And it's because he played a vital role in this. And so that, that to me feels very, um, dare I say heroic. Uh, and so it seems like that's kind of where they're wanting to pull this focus is just pull the focus back on him, his legacy, his bravery, his what he wanted to do and to pick up that torch and carry that torch for whoever feels like they can take part in that in whatever way they feel like they can take part in that to continue that on that seems like it's their kind of you know this is what we're leaving people with on this that we don't need to be digging further into the other stuff so that's where that's gonna stand i don't know what evidence we'll end up seeing, how we'll end up seeing it, whether it will feel like, yes, that's great, perfect, clear-cut evidence, or whether we'll be like, hey, that's fishy. What kind of evidence is that? Is that, you know, something, something feels off? I don't know. I don't know what we're going to see that kind of gives that type of effect, but this looks like it wasn't his choice. Now, did he do the things? I don't know, but was it his choice? Looks like he was presented with a choice and he stood his ground. And so just moving forward past this, thank you for sticking in here. Please stay to the end for the little B-rolls. I always put B-rolls at the end of my videos to try to lift it up, make it a little bit more lighthearted. This is a heavy reading. Please do not click away without having something lighthearted. It really does make a difference to walk away from a video with a smile and a chuckle than to walk away from a video with a heavy heart and a lot of like weight on your shoulders. So stick around for the B-roll. Self-care is very important. It seems silly, but it's very important. I'm not putting any more ads or anything like that after this. It's not like I'm getting paid for you to watch a B-roll. Um, it's literally purely for you to lift yourself up after something this heavy. I'm going to do the same because again, my ears are literally on fire, both of them, because it's like I'm hearing information, getting information from all sides here and it's a lot um so i'm gonna do self-care and rest up and i hope that y'all do as well um and so <sighs> we'll see if this video goes up we'll see when it goes up and we'll see if it goes up on regular channel or on perk squad i don't know at this point because this one's a lot um so anywho 
y'all don't be a stranger come back and see me and i will talk at you later but i love you minute. bye y'all Quit biting Bodhi. Why are you chewing him? Bodhi's not a toy. You have toys on this bed. Hey. Hey. Oh, Jesus. Player four, enter the game. Earthquake.